I talked about it pretty much anytime we talked about the Nelson Peltz thing. I I never really thought there was much of a chance. I think that was being overblown a little bit. I just think that when you have when so many of the big time shareholders were never going to move and never going to do that. You got Vanguard and BlackRock or whatever. You already have like fucking 20 percent of the vote right there. I, I thought it was outlandish for him to ever really get on the board to begin with. But, you know, they gave it a good shot. It was a good thing to talk about. It was funny to see Nelson Peltz slamming Disney. But the reality is for the past six months, all of Disney's efforts have not been about fucking changing and making entertainment better or anything. It's been fending off Nelson Peltz. It's been attacking Nelson Peltz. That's what all of Bob Iger's energy and focus have been on, which is pretty ironic. And Elon Musk has been like the night before that call, Elon Musk was tweeting out about Nelson Peltz, like putting all of his support behind it. So, I mean, Elon probably, Musk probably should have probably so, should have been a couple a uh, uh, couple weeks before. I, if he I, probably, to do anything. I, <laughs> I agree. I don't know if you saw the tweets he was making, but I mean, he was trying to apply the pressure, but I, I don't really understand why he waited uh, for that moment to, to tweet it the night before. He should have been. He was never serious about it. He just wanted to fucking like jerk around Bob Iger, I think. Yeah, but I wish he would get serious about it because he could make a difference. Elon uh, Musk can't buy everything no. uh, and fix it. <laughs> no, but uh, but what I'm saying is he could have he could have put some money into it and and you know he could have bought a lot of shares and and shifted a, that a lot. If Nelson Peltz is involved, there's other people. But again, it is what it Dude, is. BlackRock was, was going to vote with Iger. Vanguard was going to vote with Iger. State Street was going to vote with Iger. Peltz never had a chance. Like yeah. Literally, like the, the fact that there, some are saying he got 30% of the shareholder vote, that's pretty good. That's mm -hmm. actually pretty good. And it's an indictment of Iger's career. The fact that he spent like half of his comeback or a quarter of his comeback fighting this shit is an indictment of his entire legacy. And uh, let it fucking end. Let it burn. Give Iger everything he wants. And his first fucking announcement out the gate is a female silver <laughs> surfer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 